How did you do that? How did you do that? So today is Friday, March 2nd, 2018, and it's 8.04. I was supposed to go to the gym today. <laughs> I wrapped my hair. Um, I'm just not in the, I guess, motivated to go to the gym. First of all, today I had a doctor appointment. Apparently the doctor wasn't going to be there. Nobody called me. Uh, they didn't give me a uh, heads up to say the doctor's not going to be there. Um, they were supposed to send me some form to fill out at home. And they never send it and I called them to say what happened. It just occurred to me like when I called them. So they told me, oh, the doctor's not going to be there. So um, uh, we have to schedule it for Monday. So I schedule it for Monday. All right. So that's one thing. I was supposed to go to the doctor. And uh, last night I got up maybe around 2 o'clock in the middle of the night and I couldn't go back to sleep. So I took my phone going on Facebook just checking stuff and apparently I came across a post that um, a babysitter who usually helped me um, when I had my sciatica um, I wasn't at one time um, I think it was like maybe 340 ish or something I can walk so I contact her her automatically she works for families around the neighborhood so I contacted her and said please go pick up my son um, at the bus stop, I cannot walk. Um, that's how bad my sciatica was, right? And the distance from my house to where the bus stop is, is not far at all. So I explained to her where she has to stand and things like that. And I immediately called the school to say, someone else is going to pick up the kids at the bus stop. So she was able to do it for me right away at the moment that I call her. So long story short, I came across her post last night on Facebook she just had a daughter uh, the baby's not I don't even think she's six months yet and it's just so heartbroken that lady is so nice to everybody's kids in the neighborhood everybody knows her she knows every kids she's just perfect and she just had a baby and she posts something on Facebook her baby just passed and that just broke my heart. I can't definitely go back to sleep after seeing that. I was like, what the hell? I have not even given her the gift, uh, her baby gift, because uh, the family she's working with no longer live in the neighborhood. They move uh, walking distance, but not in the same block anymore. So I don't see her every day. That's why I haven't given her my gift. So when I saw the post, it just broke my heart. I, it just broke my heart and another thing is that another reason I can't even go to the gym because my mental is not really here um yesterday I was cleaning and stuff like that I pretty much finished most of the my editing and uh, I was cleaning my C drive just moving some file to another drive just to keep the C drive uh, kind of clear and after I had uh, moved one file from the other, I copy it. Usually I copy first, make sure it, it moved completely, then I delete it, right? So as I'm deleting the one I just copied over, and it ended up deleting the whole C drive. 
it delete the whole C drive, the folder that I was taking the thing from. So I was able to grab, um, when I went to the uh, recycle bin and most of them, because the file was so huge, it didn't even go to the C drive. It just automatically wiped out. So I had to download a, a, a program to be able to do a deep search for it. So I was able to get some stuff back, but um, the main thing that I wanted, it wasn't able to get it back. The file is there, but I tried to open them and it will it would not open i think i would have to open another like download another kind of program and i'm not that good with computers <clears throat> i'll have to download a different program to make it able to uh i guess reconvert those files again so i had my husband look at it he's more uh, up to date you know he's more computer savvy than i am and i show him the file that i was able to get and he wasn't able to do it and I have to look at it later. So yeah, my mind is just not into it. Not only that, and it's raining like crazy outside. And my youngest <laughs> was like, mommy, I don't want to go to school. It's raining outside. And my oldest, first I answered my youngest. I said, you have to go to school. Just because it's raining, that doesn't mean you can't go to school. I don't want you to keep on having a lot of absences. Especially a couple weeks ago, he was sick, so I kept him home. Uh, with that being said, he did bring a note back. Uh, I guess th this note was somewhere in his book bag. I didn't see it. And I think he showed it to me and I told him to put it on the table and I never got to it until now. Uh, as you can see, the table is a bit clean. These are my tax stuff. And this is something I was doing with my oldest because he has a test today. So I was going over some stuff with him. So I came across this. And it's pretty much saying that since uh, my kid had a... A fever over 100 uh, it will take 24 hours before he goes back to school uh, is it 24 or 48 hours and then he had to go to the doctor and stuff like that but I kept them luckily for me it was during the president week day off so I kept him home two days two regular school days and then the following Monday and Tuesday there were no school so he had like four days rest at least for six days including the, the weekend so he was able to get better, you know, right after the, the president day, uh, weekend day off. So I just saw that note and it says that, uh, you know, so now I know I have to keep it for future use. And the other thing is, uh, oh yeah, my youngest was saying he doesn't want to go to school because it's raining. So I, after I tell him he has to go to school, my oldest told him, oh, it's half a day today. Uh, so he might as well go to school because it's only half a day. He's been saying this half a day all last, uh, all yesterday I pick him up from school and I look in the calendar. I know there was no half a day because on Wednesday he, they had half a day. There's no half a day. So I didn't even bother answering him saying there's no half a day. My youngest was already complaining he didn't want to go to school. So I didn't want to create more chaos in the house. So I left, let them be. My oldest thing that's half a day and my youngest bought it. So there. So with that being said, like I said, I wrapped my hair around. I have until maybe two or three o'clock if I decide to go to the gym today. Um, tomorrow I'll go and I'll do some stuff. Um, my oldest has... Uh, the church wants me to come uh, while the kids are in class so they want to speak to the parents because his communion is gonna be january february march april and may and two months and two months so they want to speak to us i don't know for what but they want to speak to us so i have that and uh and today is the pizza day so we shall see i'm just ramb rambling right now um i, I didn't go well, I, the day is still young, so I didn't go to the gym this morning, and I'll see how my mental state is uh, if I'll go later, but right now I'm just not in the mood. I need to gather my uh, tax information. Maybe on Monday I'll go to New York and um, bring it to my tax person, but I need to get these settled. So that's it.
Okay, today is March 5th, Monday, March 5th, 2018, and it's 7.51. I'm about to go to the gym. I'm really pushing myself to go because I've been very, um, I will not say depressing, but there's no motivation to go back to, to go to the gym. But I'm pushing myself to go and I'm going to do full body. Um, over the weekend, I was thinking to sort of motivate myself to get back, you know, to feel enthusiastic being at this gym, is to put myself on a plan. And the plan that I'm trying to do, i never really done this before, where I'll pick maybe three or four exercises per body part and do 100 repetitions. It could be 20, uh, 20 reps uh, of five, you know, five sets of 20 repetitions and then um, move to the next exercise, do another uh, f uh, five sets of 20 of whatever the exercise is. Uh, I was thinking maybe I should do that, I should start today, but yesterday I didn't even have the energy to even write out the plan. So I said, let me see how I deal this week, how my motivation is this week, um, and then um, next week maybe I'll start that. I'm not sure if I'm gonna do it, depending on how I'm feeling. Because after my uh, one body part per week, because it was an intense uh, uh, plan, I tracked it throughout the month. Um, so it took a lot of my energy. And then after that, I went to do, you know, full body every other day. And then I had pulled my neck muscle and uh, that went, put me back down where I started focusing on my legs to alleviate the neck muscles a little bit. And... Uh, after two weeks of focusing on my legs, um, I started going back doing upper body exercises and then my strength has gone down. So now I'm stuck in trying to bring up my strength. For the past, last week, for bench press with dumbbells, I've been, you know, using a 30 pound um, dumbbell. That's very light to, uh, for me, my previous uh before my one body part per week because I was reaching 40 pounds. So I went really way down. So I wanted to bring my strength back up. So I was like, you know, let me do for one week, I'll do a uh, chest uh, bench press with uh, 30 pounds. And uh, last week, uh, I believe I started uh, with 32.5. That's the next highest dumbbell they have. So this week, I'm going to try to do the next highest, I believe is uh, 30 and I will do three sets of 10 of that particular uh, dumbbell. So this week, I'm gonna see how my energy level is going to the gym. And if I still feel the same way where I have no energy, I'm just pushing myself to be at the gym, I'm gonna put myself on a plan where I do uh, 100 rep per exercise. Whatever exercise that I choose will be 100 rep. So we'll see how that, is, how that goes. Uh, if I do follow through and if I still feel lack of uh, energy to be at the gym. So that will probably be next week. Um, today I was supposed to go, uh, I have a doctor appointment. It was supposed to be last Friday, then my doctor was out. So they pu uh, put it for today. And I don't think I'm going to go. Um, I this I just don't feel like going today so I'm probably gonna cancel it and then I might have I probably be gonna go to New York to drop my tax papers and uh, see uh, how that go but they open like 10 o'clock so I'm probably gonna go after the gym and get that out of the way and then so they could call me and uh, so I could take care of it right away so that's it. I'm heading to the gym now and uh, I'll see how I feel afterward and I'm probably going to cancel the doctor's appointment and then just go straight to New York and take care of uh, my uh, tax thing. So yeah, that's it for now.
Today is March 5th, Monday, March 5th, 2017, and it's 12:10. Uh, I came from New York City after to drop off my uh, tax papers. So I'm a bit exhausted. Uh, this morning I spoke about a plan I may, uh, I'm thinking of doing next week. Uh, the reason I want to do that, I think it's I'm lack of motivation to go to the gym. But once I'm there, it's a different story. I do, you know, whatever I need to do to uh, feel like I accomplished something. But it's the motivation to, from my house to go to the gym that I normally have, I don't have. So I'm thinking of putting myself on that plan. I think another reason, I've mentioned it before, so it's probably gonna be re repetitive because I mentioned it earlier this morning uh, in the bathroom before I left. Uh, I want to uh, bring my strength up this week. So actually while I was at the gym, let me explain what I did actually. And then once I get to the bench press, that's when uh, you know I'm talking about in terms of strength. So I got to the gym, I used the hyperextension to do some stretchings because my lower back have been very tense and I think it's because I don't stretch enough uh, my hamstrings and stuff like that. So I already have lower back problems. So if I don't stretch these, uh, so I'm gonna feel that tightne tightness on my lower back. So I use the hyperextension and I use foam rolling for my legs and stuff. And then as soon as I went downstairs, the first thing that I did was the leg press because on Saturday I wanted to use it and this guy just sat on it using his phone. And then after that I continued doing legs. Uh, I did uh, leg extension, hamstring curls, calf raises. And then I went and do some bench press. I did a lot of crazy things. But before I start doing different upper body exercises, what I wanted to do was... Um, Last week, I was lifting the 32.5 pounds. Uh, the week prior, I was doing the 30 pounds because my strength had decreased since my neck uh, muscle spasm thing. So every week, I increased the weight. So today, I wanted to lift at least 35 pounds. So the minute I, the very first upper, uh, upper body exercise that I did was the uh, bench press with the dumbbells. I wanted to see if I could lift it. I didn't want to do a lot of other things and then by the time I get to it I can't lift it and then I'll think that I still can't lift that uh, 35 pounds So I made sure I did that first Then I did pretty well. I did three sets of ten and Once I once I was done with that I just play around with a whole bunch of stuff up right row lateral raises and I I'm making coffee so I did a lot of things. So once I did the, uh, all the other exercises uh, for upper body, I worked my forearms, biceps, triceps with the cable. Um, I sort of wanted to do lat pull down, but time was starting to, you know, it was starting to get late because I know I, I wanted to go to New York. I had a doctor appointment. I didn't even go because it was supposed to be on Friday and uh, they didn't even bother calling me to tell me the doctor is not going to be there and then and it's the first time I'm going to be there and the, all the things that I want to do I don't think they could perform it so I set another appointment with my old place it's further away so I want to do a full uh, checkup and then you know I feel comfortable where I used to go it's just a little bit too far away but uh, the one that uh, is near me they didn't even bother telling me the doctor's not going to be there. They don't even have my information, so I didn't even bother going and call to cancel. Um, and then I went to New York. Oh, after I did all the upper body things, exercises, and I did some um, band exercises. And uh, I feel pretty strong on my leg. With my, my legs feel pretty strong. So, yeah, I could have record. Um, when I was in the... Uh, doing the bench press I could have recorded some of the stuff but uh, uh, I think I wanted to focus on doing the things that I wanted to do so I could finish quick and even that I think I left the gym like maybe 10 30 usually 10 30 I'm here but I think I left the gym around 10 30 and then went to New York and it's 12 already so yeah and uh, in terms of the bench press like I said I did the 35 pounds 
I want to, let's say, if next week I decided to do that plan where I do 100 rep per uh, exercise, um, I wanted to make sure I'm able to do, lift the 35. I might have to reduce it when I'm doing the bench press with the dumbbell uh, if I do it next week because I'm going to be doing a lot of repetition or maybe I'll have to be, it will have to be the very first exercise that I do uh, so uh, I could uh, do that 100 reps. So I'm thinking maybe five sets of 20 for every, of every exercise that I plan on doing. Uh, if I probably um, one time in the mood this week, I have all week to plan that workout and see how that goes. I, I probably will have to go every day where uh, Monday I'll do chest, Tuesday I'll do legs, Wednesday I'll do back, and then uh, Thursday maybe arms or something like that. Uh, uh, whatever it might be. But I'll think about it how I'm gonna do it. So yeah, that's about it. I'm gonna drink some coffee and then uh, take a shower and stuff like that. I'm a little bit exhausted. But in terms of my physique, if I do that exercise, this is how my arm sort of look like. My arm tends to be in shape pretty much year round. It's just the belly. The belly is the problem um, whenever I, uh, you know, I don't eat right or I eat too much of something, it shows automatically on my face, up uh, on my stomach. And then in terms of my face, Okay, I have this spot here. I have no makeup on whatsoever, nothing, right? So this part, you know, is the issue. Is my face starting to clear off? And this side, um, I mean, you might see little, you know, brown spots here and there like this, but the majority of them are clearing off because I made sure I'm not eating anything crazy that will do, um, create more you know, pimples and stuff like that. So that's it. I'm gonna take a shower.